what's up youtube does or beats back with another video if this is your first time to the channel as always welcome today what we're doing i'm showing you how to loop samples inside the npc software but this feature that i'm showing you inside the npc software can be done inside any standalone the npc key 61 the npc one the npc live 2, the npc any one of them any hardware and plus the software you can do it in all right so this tip is how to loop your samples all right to get the perfect loops of your sample all right let's go let's get it all right first tip how to loop a sample inside the mpc software and mpc key 61 or whatever mpc you have but i'm showing you how to do it in the software all right so say you have a say you have a sample <laughs> Let's bring it into sample edit all right what i like to do is just hit pad one to listen to the um sample and to loop the sample you'll hit pad 16. So another thing is, say you go to an audio channel, a home go to audio channel and you bring it in. If you see the sample is not at the end, as long as you know what the BPM of the sample is, which it tells you in here, right? It tells you the BPM in here. So as long as you know what that sample BPM is, if you come here inside the audio, hit this, hit warp and it's still not there you can do this this is what you could do so it make it come to you want to either get it here or you want to get it over here you can hold shift uh, not shift you can hold control until you see you see the the icon hit control until you see that arrow going this way until you see that until you see that going this way right you take it and you drag it to the line now I show you the BPM right here okay so that way right there as long as you get it looping perfectly inside your um, sample edit and then when you come home and drag it into an audio you hit play <laughs> alright you see how it's sped up what you can do now make sure you click on this because see if you, if i'm not clicked on this it's just showing the bpm for here make sure you click on it to select it and it's 80 right all you have to do is hit this right here times two right here once you hit the times two it doubled the bpm now it's going to play at the right speed <laughs> Alright, and that way now you can come right here and pitch it up, pitch it down. Let's pitch it up five and see what that sound like. Let's hit play. Alright, now let's pitch it down. Let's pitch it down three. Alright, let's say you have a sample that doesn't loop perfectly, right? And you want to make it loop perfectly and you don't know how to do it. You can, let's go back to our sample edit. Here goes a uh, sample I have right here. So, like I said, hit one to pr preview the sample.
All right, so the sample don't loop perfectly. So let's hit pad 16. Pad 16 is always your loop pad for the keep looping back and forth because pad one would just play it from the start to the end. Pad 16 will play it from the start and keep looping the, the track until you stop it. All right, so let's hit pad 16 to get the loop. All right, so what you would it don't loop right because it, it need to start over right but I know that it should stop right here I know that it's supposed to stop right there so let's hit peg 16 again All right, but say you don't know that and say you don't know know how to do it right what you could do is you don't need to know this you can come here come back home let's open up another uh, audio track and we can drag it inside here all right let's mute track one let's go back to track one and mute track one uh, let's mute that Let's go to track two. See, it's all over the place, right? It don't work. So let's select it. Let's hit warp. Once you hit warp, remember, hit warp, right? Once you hit warp and hit play, it's still not, not lined up because we need it to come here. Right? So let's listen. Don't work. So what you could do, right? Remember what I told you? Make sure you hold control on your keypad in this horizontal line. Click and drag to the five right because we know this is where it's at is no audio here so that's our first thought would be stopping it right there bring it in this way to shrink it in and this way is to drag it all right so now it's on 60.01 right so let's say let's just go ahead and hit play again If you want it that fast, you can leave it that fast, but normally no. So what you want to do is come right here, remember, and hit this right here. It brings it right to the to the eight bars. Then you hit play. And that's it. You see what I'm saying? So it's, that's how you do your looping inside the Akai MPC software. It's the same way how you do it in the MPC Key 61. Same way you do it in the MPC X. Same way you do it in the MPC Live 2. MPC 1. MPC whatever you have. That's the way to do it. To make it easy. So that's the easy tip of the day. Let's go man. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate everybody. Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think of the video. Let's go. Let's get it as always. Tony up!